So today we are at a very good friend of mine's place. He is going to join me for Fail Date Friday and I don't think that there's anybody more appropriate for Fail Date Friday. Uh, today we've got none other than my very good friend and weekly golf partner, Mr. Joey Rastin. I need a big night, Joey! Yeah, this is, is a question. How did you? Does Joey have sentences like this? Joey, where were you last night? I was out there. With the woo, with the woo. <laughs> Joey, uh, let me start like now. Nah, I won't say who he was with, but a lot of famous people. Let me tell you something about Joey. Wait, my music is. Let's go switch, be switched off. Thank you. I know how this car works. Just switch off this thing completely. So Joey was with Phone disconnected. a lot of fuck. Joey was with a lot of friends, but let me tell you something about him. You were that one of the very few people I strive to be like that. Huh? That we play golf on a Wednesday. Yeah. Well, we used to play a lot. We must play this week again. Yeah. Where Joey knows everyone from a this week we're playing with blue collar workers. <laughs> Next week we play with Springboks. <laughs> week after that we play with music people. How did you get to know so many people? I I no I they just know me, man. I don't know. I I don't know. Uh, how do, just how do you get? Is. How do you get? How do you get to know people? You meet them and say hello. Yeah, but you know some people don't have that thing, especially for like, like someone like you. Yeah. You've always shy, like this is the thing people don't. I don't know if people know this about you, uh. but you shy away from fame. You don't yeah, smart yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've never liked it. Yeah. I've seen you not like it, and people <laughs> think you're angry with them when you don't want to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, I. It's, yeah, bro. It's just a bit. Um, it's a. It's a strange feeling, man. Because, uh. because the thing about the thing about it is, is like you you wanna be kind. Yeah. But then sometimes people don't understand also how to be kind. Yeah. So then you need a catch twenty two situation where you're like, Ish, man, I don't wanna be unkind, yeah. but but you auntie, you being unkind now by yeah, making me feel like like this. But you you also got into that Go weird fame. It. You got into that fame where people have oh, they don't even know they're being disrespectful. I have seen it. So like in the beginning, I'll be honest with you, I thought Nadja nah, was just full of nonsense. Uh, but then after a while when I was hanging around with you, I was like, no people are actually ridiculous. Then I go straight, but don't drive in the bottles here. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Sorry, Marv. Yeah. So uh, people people don't know they being strange. I've seen you have conversations talking to other people, then people come tap you on the shoulder yeah, aggressively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you we just want a picture and they are aggressive, my bro. You know, sometimes because you're so nice, yeah. I, I think, I don't know, I, I don't want to be now uh, arrogant and stuff, but sometimes yeah. when you're um, nice and when and when then people feel like you're approachable, yeah. and then they feel like they're entitled to come in your personal space because yeah. they've seen you um, uh, do stuff and on TV. Yes. TV is yeah. a strange thing. People, uh, people, yeah. and when they see you on stage and then they go, "Oh wow, you spoke about stuff that I agree with." Oh, yeah. you're such a nice colored guy, or whatever. Yeah. And then they go, then they go, "Ah, uh, I, it's, I'm entitled. He's not gonna say anything." Oh, yeah. So now, the thing is, is that when did? Let's start at the beginning. Yeah. When? Okay, well, we're still on the subject, so let's just finish here. Yeah. When did it become this crazy? Because it wasn't just always that crazy. Yeah, I think when people realized that I wasn't Mark Lothring. Yeah. I was somebody else. Yeah. And and then they're like, oh, wow. Because now I think that they liked, they love Mark Lothring. And love. Then they, yeah, and then they're like, oh, wow. But I also Joey love also, Yeah, but yeah. we love this guy also. And yeah. then it's even more like, yo, fuck. I mean, not fuck, but yeah, yeah it's fine. You can swear. <laughs> but yeah, you, yeah, nah, we must, we must have a conversation with this guy, um, and yeah. But the thing is, is that when was it? Was they like? Was it Pio Monati show? Was it after nah, that? Yeah, after that then. Um, 
So in Pio Minati show was happening, you were still getting that. I get that thing where they go, I've seen you somewhere. Yeah, but it's... you get that thing. Joey! <laughs> yeah, but the thing about Pio Minati was at that time, the South African um, artist at the time was like, that we were, we were not only comedians, it was. Yeah. It was a foundation for sir, for things that's happening now. Yeah. So, um, and it wasn't social media. Uh. So it wasn't um, fame as such. So, and we didn't do stuff to become famous, basically. We yeah. did stuff because we wanted to do it and, and that, and we did it with enjoyment. And that yeah. enjoyment was a reward. And also it translates. Yeah. Everything. Now people connect with that. Yeah. And that's why it's such a big hit. Yes. But at the time, you must remember, it was like um, TKZ was there, yeah. uh, Double HP came out, uh, you know. Um, so there was there was people at the Umiena volume. Yeah, so yeah. there was there was uh, people in South Africa that uh, there was like a talent wave. It was a boom. Came. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, not only in in um, in comedy, but in everything like Presley, Jonah Hain, and they won an Oscar streak yeah. for for, for Tootsie, yeah. 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 That was early 2000s. Yeah. So so that time, so that time there was like, and and I just imagine if we had like Instagram, um, it would have been even crazy. It would have been. I don't think we would have been achieved what we achieved then because okay. they like with social media now. There's lots of negativity. Yeah. There's lots of um, people that's woke, but then. I don't know if it's the the wokeness that makes yeah. people think strangely. <laughs> yeah. So at the time it was um, it was lacking. You know why? Yeah. I think that, and if I look at social media now, what happens is it's like when a traffic cop. If a, there's a saying that goes, if a traffic cop follows you for five hundred meters, for five hundred kilometers, eventually they're gonna find something on you. Yeah. Cameras are on you too much. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't give you time to be. As soon as you just show a little bit of weakness or humanity, uh, then yeah. that becomes like. Oh, you know what I mean? Give me the wokest person and have a conversation with him for two years and you tell me they're not gonna say something inappropriate. You know, it's Yeah, I, I just I just think that certain sometimes just because um you were certain way doesn't mean that you're gonna say something that's not inappropriate. Absolutely. So you'll always say something that's inappropriate for somebody. Absolutely. And, and so then so you must just you must just measure it up going how many people will find this inappropriate and how many people will find it appropriate uh, and listen from one thing to the next you yeah. you have had that a lot because you don't yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't hold back yeah yeah, yeah. and you said things that got you into varmbad <laughs> more than once i mean very regularly <laughs> it, you know it's also it's can i explain something to you yeah it is your duty yeah to um speak up against an observation or if you observe something that is not right yeah and then it then it's your duty to speak up against it like you know that as like, a human or as a comedian as a human bro yeah like you know that latin saying where they say that um if you silent then you agree with something I don't know the saying, but I it can Google makes it sense. Quickly. Yeah. Okay. It's, when, it's, don't worry about it. Know, but no, we're not, we're not. We're not that technical around these parts. Yo, okay. Yeah. So you tell me, has it any way because all the trouble you've had, right? Yeah. Has it in any way shaped the way you go on stage? So you, you have. Are you more careful now? Yeah. You have to be aware. You have to be aware that part of being kind and part of being. Um, uh relatable is that you can't purposefully try and offend somebody uh, so you have to show some empathy of for the way they think about certain things whether you agree or not uh, so sometimes you'll disagree with something yeah. but then you can't just go go um speak out because you have to show some sort of empathy towards that person's thinking uh, or towards what that person um, feels about a certain subject Just, and, yeah and that um, in recent times is because before I didn't have a filter <laughs> yeah before I didn't have I don't filter. know eh? that filter is very thin eh? Yeah, now, now I have a filter. I, I st you have a filter, but yeah. it's, you still don't care that much. Yeah, no, you, it's not that you don't care; is that you're still gonna say it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so the th I think "don't care" is the wrong word. Yeah, I think I think is look. 
firstly, I think the word opinion must be scrapped from the dictionary. Because opinions is, it just shows you that you have a lack of knowledge. So when a person says, oh, it's just my opinion, that means that person is actually just um, outing themselves for saying, ah, I don't have any knowledge. Okay. Because our opinion lack knowledge yeah. and you don't have to take responsibility for your opinion uh, and there's no recourse uh, for your opinion ah it's just my opinion uh, ah it's in my opinion this this and this and normally uh, more often than not opinions is always negative uh, oh that's a cut movie in my opinion uh, oh so yes. yeah whereas observations so you have certain side information uh -huh. and then you use that information and then you say from this information that I have this is my observation uh -huh. sometimes you don't have all the information uh -huh. sometimes you have um, little information yeah. sometimes you don't have the nuances of, of, of the information at hand uh -huh. and yes. when you go do when you're on stage and do stand up you understand that these are nuances that you have to um, take seriously, yeah, and you and have to negotiate it around. Yes, yeah, so so sometimes so people won't understand those nuances, mm -hmm. and and when they don't, uh, and that's the ones that will um, normally find uh, offense. Yeah, yeah. So people that has the information and people that understand the nuances and people that un that doesn't just form form uh, an opinion out of nothing yeah. that have an information to form an observation <laughs> they're the ones that you would want to perform to all the time yeah. now on, on social media unfortunately yeah. the the latter that i just described yeah. is is few and far between so listen this is mm. now the thing with you right when people come to your one man shows mm -hmm. often because there's, there's different sides to you yeah, yeah 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 so i've you go on stage especially when you don't have <laughs> like you don't feel like on the day when you're feeling good yeah. i've seen you just go talk yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. and people love that uh, and there's a certain audience member uh, that smarts that like my wife yeah, yeah she yeah. smarts that i'm gonna be the stereotype here yeah, yeah. stereotypical kind of girl from cape yeah, town yeah. loves it when you just talk yeah, cut, yeah. right yeah. and then you go like this like you right. just went now Right, yeah, and right. there's a different set of audience members that come and you. You can't wait. Wait, just hang on. Wait, we, have to, yeah, we have to go another way. Yeah, turn, turn, turn around. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, yeah. It's a ninety-four point seven, so everything's blocked. So there, by that robot, you have yeah. to turn right. Okay, sharp. So, and I'm thinking we're coming this way. That's not blocked, by the uh, way. It's mm. okay. it's all right. So then you have two types of. I because I used to I opened for Joey once or twice, yes, and then there's two audience yeah. members there. Oh. Then I can see the lights going on and off by some. Mm -hmm. So like when you go here, then the lights you can see the aunties now, or yeah. the womies now, like nah man. Uh, yeah, I, then we, because you're explaining very heavy things uh, then you see other people's eyes light up right uh, right so like do you sit down and script your do you write a, sto a one man show or do you just go out so I, in you as you know in yeah. my one man shows i speak about specific concepts yeah so i don't necessarily write it down word it's word. very yeah, yeah. So uh, today I want to speak about the yellow car, for instance. Yeah, and then I'll go do research on this yellow car. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and then I won't write it down. I'll just yeah. go. Yeah, you get lots of yellow cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some is uh, Hyundai, some is Opals. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Um, but it's not gonna be a word for word thing. Yeah. So you want to? That's um, fluid. Yeah, it's fluid. And, yeah. And, uh, so you want to speak about the yellow car because mm. people have seen the yellow car before yeah. and then you want to speak about that yellow car parts of it that people might have not seen or yeah. haven't seen yeah. and parts of the yellow car that people have seen then they go yeah. oh wow I didn't see that one yeah. so yeah and that's how the one man it's a very out. educational thing when you call your one man show I find that it's very much you are yeah. teaching people things. Yes, yes, and that's and I think that that should be part of art, eh? Yeah, it should be part of. You should take something away. Yeah, it should be. You are open. Oh wait, wait. I just think. I'm just thinking now. Are we gonna get to the joke? Let's please. 
Nee, because <laughs> that young smart is most closed. closed. Then I turn right here. Mm. Uh, I think we have to go through Meli. Where are we going, by the way? We're going to Fordsburg. What's uh, a chow? Yeah, I know we'll make it still. Uh, What's a place called? This doesn't have a name. It's a no name place. Is it? <laughs> no name place. Yeah. Uh, but it's at Fordsburg Square and it's the best bubble last food ever. Tops. It's fine. Yeah. How many one man shows have you written now? Have Seven. Done? Seven. Yeah. You can see though, tickets are st st we struggling to sell tickets in, in, in comedy now. At yeah, the moment. extremely. I yeah. mean, you can see like from guys like you that used to, I mean, yeah. even guys like you used to sell out the Lyric Theatre. Yeah. And then, bang, uh, bang, bang. And now yeah. you, you can't. fighting to sell yeah, tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, unless you like uh, anomaly. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, 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 a, a it's rough. Science of the times. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, uh, and and also, um, your your audience moved. So my audience, the age group, and uh, yeah, um, the the LSM, they all moved. Uh -huh. they, so so it wasn't a static thing. Yeah. So they moved. So me, you need to. Where do you mean they move? They move like they have children now. They, oh, so they, they go out so much. Yeah, they don't go out so much. They're in they, different spaces in their life. That's absolutely right. And then. Um, Chris and Forrest a, is doing this thing for a tenth time. Tenth time. I'm gonna have him on this at some point. Uh, um, okay. So you have. Um, so they moved on. Yeah. Yeah. So now to try and get a new audience is also a bit difficult. I see that with comics now a lot. Like I see, I look at, I look at like, for example, the big internationals as well. Mm. You can see this guy was hot. Nice clay. Yeah, yeah. Andrew yeah. Dice Clay. Yeah. Huge arena selling, right? Mm, mm. Don't understand social media. Yeah. Lighty comes out from nowhere, mm. warm on social media, mm. but doesn't have the skill set mm. that Dice Clay's got. Mm. So when people go and see the shows, yeah. then they're disappointed. Yeah. But the show is packed. Yeah. It's it's weird. Anyway, it is Yeah, weird. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 one of the main reasons why I did um the roast of AKA. Yeah, because that audience haven't seen me live. Yes, so they see you as an actor, actually. Yeah, not even they know that you know. Uh, and they're like, young, so the young ones they come up to you and they're like, "Yeah, hey, Joey Rusty, you a legend and what yeah. that, that, that. Then you're like, "How do you know? You didn't you come to me." Yeah, my yeah. first one man show was in 2002. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and the light he was, he was but three. Yeah. So, yeah. so also the thing about social media and stuff is. Um, you can send WhatsApps and, and shows and live shows mm. and people would have watched you mm. on platforms that you didn't even know existed. Mm. Right. So that is one thing. But then the other thing is because you're doing, oh yeah, you must turn right, right here. Yeah. Um, so then they don't understand as to why the people um love a certain guy yeah in the, yeah because they didn't see it yeah they, didn't they see weren't it. there at the time yeah, yeah they how were long there. how long like have you for been instance um one of my favorite dudes will always be eddie murphy it's like always. always i actually want to save up and go and see him and this and, new special. and 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 martin lawrence uh, like you come from a time yeah. where yeah. You had to get bootleg those tapes yeah. from what was it, uh, Dev Jam and all that. So Martin Lawrence and and Eddie Murphy, like there's some sets where Martin Lawrence, movie. yeah, did where you like, yeah, it's very. It's difficult. smart. Yeah, it's very difficult to for somebody to um, outshine this guy. Yeah, no, he was fire on, as yeah. a host as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire yeah. as a host. Yeah. And Eddie, Eddie was just Eddie. It's still, it's just like it's another yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So Eddie Murphy is like one of the. First guys to to get all this the contracts mean by boomerang, yeah, yeah. He had like so much. Um, he's coming back next year apparently. I mean, yeah, so, he's got 153 children. Yeah, yeah. Prize, but yeah, no. When you have kids, things change, eh? Yeah. You have to do the shows. Not, but he's Eddie Murphy. What's the Sunday? Still box for days. Oh, Sunday Funday. I thought those people uh, is okay. is just, uh, protesting. Protesting in the meantime they. Um, Tell me the way back to this thing. Yeah. Roast of AK, right? Yeah, yeah. 
by far, and listen, I'm gonna sound biased because mm-hmm. me and you are friends, right? Mm-hmm. But by far, I can't even take my wife's word for it because she's also biased, right? Yeah. So by far, you were the best act. You don't have to agree, but by far. Yeah. But also, it was expected because you, I'm you, a you, st- and not just a comedian, a veteran comedian that's still actively performing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So you were still sharp, mm-hmm. and that was lacquer to see because. As you said, these lighties didn't see you yet, and yeah. they, you could see they were not left. Yeah, a lot yeah, of them like, were like, what? Uh, because they didn't know this, know this yeah, is yeah, coming. Yeah. Did yeah. you go off script? Yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't see me. They had a script for you. Yes. And yeah. I, I could have tell, told them that it's never going to work. <laughs> but all the comics, even Skumba and his one, he went off script far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skumba actually went off script more than me, I think. No, I think um, I wrote my own script. Mm. Yeah, so that's the first thing. I wrote my own script. But then when you're in the moment, I could see you going. And then while I was there, I also was like, no, man. Um, we have the building blocks here. We can a- add some um, proper tiles now. <laughs> but that happens. People don't understand that that yeah. happens as you stand at yeah, the podium. Yeah, 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 they don't. Because the, the juices start flowing. Then yeah. you go, and the, it was clapping. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't understand that. But yeah, so and you're that, not a roast though. You're not yeah, out for roast. I hated roast. I still hate roast. My I father hates it. I hate. I don't like yeah. it. I, I don't like roast. to be mean to people. I like. Yeah, it's and, just and you then, can tell me I'm gonna yeah. you're gonna hug it out. It doesn't. Yeah, I know yeah. that certain things stay. I I hate roast, right? Yeah. But the thing about yes, is now look at this now. Brass and base. It's like this everywhere, all the way up this route. But we can go all the way down and then turn right. Yes. So I. But you can't. Cause it's still there, yeah. man. Yeah. Hey, bro, where does this thing turn left and right now? Anyway, it is what it is. We'll find another joint if left. No, I need to eat that. <laughs> okay, then get me there. Yeah. So, uh, did you enjoy the roast? You know AK and them though. You know yeah, all these yeah, yeah, ones. Yeah, I know King. Yeah. And Keenan, Keenan is a. I don't know Keenan at all. I can't even He's call him nice Keenan. So yes, okay. yes, okay. this is the thing. So he's got a persona in the world, right? Yeah. And many, many people have told me that Keenan is the nicest person he's in nice like guy. here yeah. with you. He's a nice guy. And then when the lights go, it's very much like you, dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> nah. it is, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Not that bad. Yeah. But like people also go because you in public, I've noticed that you find a press stand offish. Uh. So the people walk past. You got a stern look, yeah. but when they know know you, you're a give yeah. a t-shirt of my back kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, but I I I think it's also sometimes a defense mechanism. Like yeah. people don't want. Yes, yeah, it is. People, absolutely. They mustn't rock you for one type vibe. Yeah, but also like I mean, AKA, he's yeah. probably like his fame right now is ridiculous. Like yeah, like, you can't it's live not, your life. Yeah, if you're not, if you're gonna be kind and nice the whole time. You're never gonna have time to talk to your daughter. I think I think sometimes fame is just an offshoot of um, talent and hard work together. Uh. And sometimes people don't necessarily do things to be famous, mm. but they so talented and work so hard yeah. that they do become famous. Yes. And then sometimes you don't know how to um, react or how to. Um, yeah. Act. Funny enough, the Owens have become a lot of the people I know that have become very famous. They don't actively seek it. Yes, it's the Owens that want to be famous. Yeah, that don't get there quickly, and in, even if they do get there, mm-hmm. they become very insecure. I've yeah. seen it like they, yeah, they've the, chased the fame. It wasn't about the art. Uh, yeah, yeah. And now the the fame is here now. Now they're under pressure because they they can't yeah. produce at that level. Yeah, you see, and that is the yeah. Now you have to go straight here. That's country. And that is the somehow the the key to all those things. So tell me, you you grew up in Joburg your whole life, right? Yeah. You from what? Regenpark? No, from Rovelli. You from Rovelli? Yeah. Now people don't like. This is another thing: is that uh. people know that you went through a lot of pain. People know that you've lost your wife. All uh. those things, right? Right. I remember, quite, quite, quite. I remember when I was a very young light uh, no, like just late high school years uh, when my granny said, my aunt said to me, shame man, that boy lost his parents. wife. Yeah, my, oh, my wife. Oh, it yeah. was your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then everyone was very sad for you. Like, uh, you know, like it was very like emotional. Uh, 
people never speak about your parents. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah, so because tell me, tell I don't me. have you don't parents. Yeah, yeah but people don't know you lost your parents uh, very young yeah, uh, uh. you grew up what under the age of 10 you were like yeah my father was uh, i was nine when my father passed away and you were how old when your mother went uh 17. so okay that's very young yeah so in my whole you so you grew up with your aunties and yes that's why you're so sisters. close with your sisters now. yeah yeah my sisters yeah so joey's sisters come to his shows <laughs> and it made me feel very lekker uh, because yeah. they reminded me so much of my family. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. plat, my bro. If yeah. they speak Afrikaans, <laughs> there's no airs, no flares. <laughs> Joey, uh, no, is no. that? Yeah, it's and like, then your it's your and I, I don't I don't ever speak back to them. Nah, because you're the know, young one. I'm the young one. Yeah. So I'm like the and, one. And they're also unaffected by fame. Yeah, right? yeah. They are, they don't can they can, could now give. Okay, yeah, yeah like, unaffected, very plain, yeah. straightforward. Whatever, people. whatever, yeah. guys, whatever. Yeah. Uh, did you told me the story about going to this place, neighborhood market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your sister didn't understand why you didn't want to buy with him. Oh, uh, we, yeah, it wasn't me, man. Wasn't it you? Yeah, no, it wasn't me. My sister okay. and him wouldn't ever want to go to neighborhood park, neighborhood market. Yeah, so it wasn't me. Who but, was it? Yeah, I don't know. But I remember you went to Neighborhoods Market, you came into the door and then you couldn't move from there and the people oh, just... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was when the Neighborhoods Market just opened. Everyone wanted a picture, everyone wanted yeah, a picture. That's what I remember that. Eh? Do you so, still have that to these places you don't go? So now people is better now. Yeah. Um, that because it's does consensus. So, yeah. um, you know with with social media and the hashtags that's going on now yeah um people is very careful yeah as to now you can't just come up and do certain things that was normal okay. before because yeah, social media um has made it yeah, yeah. people stopping. are more aware yes of yes. intruding on your personal yes, space yes, yes, yes especially yes. because you got you've got kids man and you roll with those yeah. kids yeah yeah i roll with those kids i was gonna come with my daughter i mean my son and my daughter i know jo joey's uh kids are fantastic the daughter's still very young <laughs> yeah but uh your son is <laughs> you probably for you now eh? yeah your son is probably one of my favorite humans <laughs> why is that but just his energy is right yeah his energy. he's the kind of guy i want ethan my my son to have, have friends like that yeah he, you know he's he, just he i don't know where me. that comes from he proper charged me now though for what yeah i don't know oh yeah i know i know why <laughs> <laughs> that, but he's he's so together yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a good child. And you're a bigger one sports, but he's also sporty, but he's not that big. Yeah. He's in rowing. Yeah. And but, you're a cricketer. Yeah, but he's not big in sports. Nah, and he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care. Like, he, he's like maybe 1% in sports. Tell me, uh, people don't know this either, because mm. Joey doesn't want to talk about sports, because mm. it's a very... I don't want to speak about it yeah. either, because I don't know anything. I'm. It'll mm. be lost on me. You must speak to my Pali about those things. Yeah, he yeah. loves that stuff. Mm. But... So Joey, Joey was, you played Gauteng, no? It was Cricket. Transvaal at the time. Did you play Colors? Okay. Yeah, 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 Transvaal. Yeah. Transvaal, it was Transvaal. Both high school and, and, and um, primary school, yeah. Cricket. Cricket, yeah. And you played with all these big names. That's why you're still friends with them. So people yeah. don't know, people think it's because you're famous that you're friends with certain certain cricketers cricket players, yeah. but in fact you know them from primaries from cricket yeah yeah <laughs> and great. what were you batsman bowler uh, i was a bit of both yeah a little bit of an all-rounder yeah, no, yeah a little bit of all-rounder uh, uh, i was a mixed bag cricket i could be a wicket keeper i could bowl a bird i could bat a bird and you still play i actually gave up now because yes dude i don't know about it yeah man there's two things. The one thing is it takes cock long. I never yeah, realized. Yeah, it's an old day, guy. I never realized how long cricket takes. It's day. It's a day. Even if like today, you normally yeah. play on a Sunday. They buy yeah. pirates. Ne? Yeah. No, there was some. Um. So pirates is just one of the crowns. I used to play for old heads. Uh. And in yeah, back in the day, I used to play for a team called Ottomans. Then I played for a team called Max Park. Uh. Um. Yeah. And it's a Sunday. Sunday. Yilda. Yeah. I mean, it just. Like, and at the time when you're playing, when I was younger, it didn't ma it didn't matter. It didn't. Now it's like you. You got kids, but yeah. also because you like it so much, the time just disappear. Yeah, but you, and you, you pay like the price it. for it. You don't like it. I don't like it so much. 
yeah to play now but yeah because it's like yeah it, it feels like it's like i could have done something better uh, i see uh, now that's yeah. how i feel all the time about cricket <laughs> my bali will watch any cricket game doesn't matter who's playing <laughs> my bali will watch a club cricket game five days come to that field for five days he so, will watch cricket and he knows everything about everyone uh, you will have the time of your life with him you will have the time of his life with so him. so um I love school cricket more than yeah. anything. I know you go and watch your like <laughs> I'm not going to say where he goes to school but you go and watch him a lot. Hey, so he school well he schools cricket yeah, a lot because he yeah. doesn't play. He doesn't play but he school produced Quentin the Cock Graham Smith. Yeah I know top players. Yeah. So now yeah. people will know what it is. Yeah. So yeah so I watched Quentin the Cock. So I've watched Lighties I've had conversation with oh. you where you talk about you're going to see the light that's coming in next yeah. year. So yeah. Decky. Yeah. He's yeah. going to be. Then I'm like, where does this bra come from? Uh. The country is shocked but you knew. Yeah. Because you've been watching. Been watching and then you go straight. Yeah. yeah. You've been watching and then because it interests you. Yeah. It's, it's like the future it's a deep interest. Yeah. It's an interesting thing. And so, so uh, the cool why thing didn't that, you pursue? Sorry, man. Yeah. So the cool thing about about um watching school sports. Yeah. Uh, specifically cricket and rugby is that you under you know um straight yeah straight yeah so you know you, you know what's coming you know yeah. like these abilities and then those same like this they see you yeah but that guy uncle was there at the yeah at, at He's the everywhere at the field yeah so they know me as the uncle that's at the field yeah but then they'll see ah but this guy's on tv uh then it makes it easier and then later they'll play for south africa and yeah. then they'll still go yo but this guy was there yes yeah. he watched us play against jeppy for yeah. instance yeah is there a lot of them ask you for advice about our handle fame because i find that sports boys nah, nah, they become don't. famous and a lot of them lo- lose the plot Yeah, it also depends on your background and where yeah. you come from. How you've been nurtured. And- yeah, so uh, I think it's unfair to say they lose the plot. Yeah. Uh, I think um, uh, in rugby and cricket, they might not lose the plot because they come from um, proper Good. structures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In soccer, however, if you in staying in zone six, in yeah, so wait wait to- and your your salary increase from 0 to yeah like even 30000 rand per month it's a frag bro yeah so they go you made no money you make yeah. more money than your family seen yeah yeah in 6 months yes so that's so you can imagine in a month yeah one shot so you can imagine how i don't feel that yeah what a uh, uh, um anomaly it is yeah No, and I've seen it. I've seen it in my community. Yeah, like, it's like a, a normally. It's just like uh. I almost like, but now and sadly I don't have a relationship with them or whatever. Then I uh. I want to go like, but it's gonna be forward. I want to go like, hey, yeah. to the parents' house and go, auntie, just talk to this like about mm. this, this, and this. But, but you then can't. you can't because you you, you see this roller coaster just going. You don't wanna be self righteous. Yeah, you that. don't. You don't. You don't wanna be out like a uh, right here. Yeah. No, what? Tell me. Uh huh. How did you get into comedy? Because why didn't you go cricket? Hi, let's not speak about that thing. Oh, was it too much? Too, no, we don't have to talk about anything you don't want to talk about. Yeah, right here, right here. I, I just feel that if the circumstances back then was different, yeah. if I had a solid foundation like my son had. Yeah. Um, oh, no, no, I understand. Yeah, and that's that's a very common. Thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a very common thing for talented sports people to yeah. have to go and get a job. Yeah, you yeah. know that's the first thing, and then also you don't also understand like it's very competitive. Say, yeah, you lose the plot. Like when yeah. you say you lose the plot, yeah. it's like sometimes you 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 wanted to do it because you enjoyed it, but you were good at it. And then you realize that oh yeah I could have made money from it but then it's your yeah, yeah you should have turned left here but go turn turn left there by the by the robot, robot. Uh. and then you people don't know this but you became you went into finance yes yeah <laughs> so I worked so, uh, for Alexander you, Forbes yeah you worked for Alexander Forbes yeah what did you do for them I was an administrator and yeah crazy um, and I did. Um, 
uh, funds, um, pension and provident funds. So pe- that's why so I invested people's money for pension and provident funds, basically. So uh, you can park anywhere here if you find a parking. We're going there. Okay, here's a parking. Here's a Actually, they are not behind at PM, so make a U turn. Oh, okay, nice shot. Yeah. So that is a. I think that is a very. A lot of people. I know it. And yeah. people speak about it. Like Actually, they're behind at Honda. Ah, that would be a. Perfect. Yeah, that perfect. I just uh, slide yeah. it. Yeah. So people don't know that. that that you were like a big finance, like you were at a finance Yeah, job. and then but, I did. I worked at Old Mutual after that. So uh, mm. that's why I'm not going to mention the bank. Mm. But there was a bank that was very fond of you. Used to oh, use yeah. you for everything yeah, yeah. because they CEO figured out that you knew what you were talking about yeah, yeah. in finances. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so it came as a shock, and I think people still like find it like like yeah. a surprise. Y- younger people though. Yeah. The older ones they know. So, so you started stand up. Yeah. After that. Yeah, I did. Stand was up it after just that. like a no, it part-time like, thing? It, I did stand up after that. Yeah. Let's go eat and something. And we we'll talk yeah. about this afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. This is your favorite house spot. My favorite house spot. See those guys there. That's how they see me. Yeah. So much. Yeah. That's too much food. Proper chow. Your favorite bubble up. Red marker spot. You know what? Pumpkin. I have no idea what you do. So Joey is talking to his daughter uh, and we are almost done with we have to try to for the corner here and everyone knows that it's been fun. So I have a confession to make, this uh, failed egg Friday is being done on a Sunday because it's the only time Joey's favorite fast food place is open or makes the food that they make the special Sunday menu. There we go. So, how did you get into comedy, Joey? You didn't say anything about that. I uh, just my. What made you go? I can do this, because it's a strange thing for everybody, for all of us. It's not a thing everyone does. I think I think. Um, Akim's mom, yes, introduced me to Emway. Yeah. Emway. Emway, you know. Emway. Yeah, I know the. And Network business? 21, yeah. and my business and what that, yeah. Then we went to a couple of meetings and what that, and... Then we went to this convention, uh-huh. and it was these people speaking on stage at the convention. Okay. Then I was like, yo... Um, this people has most, uh, a hold on the attention of the yeah. people. Yeah. And then I went to go watch um, the Joburg International Comedy Festival. Okay. And the two guys I saw there from South Africa was Miao Muller and David Kao. Okay. And Jimmy Kao was there also. I think he was the, the MC. Okay. And then after I was like, then I was like, man, man I can also so do this. Uh, this was not like a... Uh, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. And then, uh, and then Akim's mom said, "Nah, you must go try it out." And then I went to go to an open spot. Uh, were you I, married at the time? No, I was married at the time. And then I did an open spot. Um, and then only after I got married, I started to take it more seriously. And then. Um, Basically, when Akim was born, uh, he was maybe a year old. Uh, That's when I uh, um, proper got it. Yeah, proper. Where was your first open spot? At Cool Runnings, actually. Underground. Underground. A lot of people started there. Yeah. Didn't you also start it? No, I was. I was. I went and saw shows there, but I. Uh, I was only. Uh, I only start. I my first gig was in at Parkers. Remember the one they added oh, yeah, 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 yeah. after the burlesque show. Yes, yes. yes. So Madala Afrikaans, then yes, people's market. I remember that one. Carnival City. Yeah. I remember that one. Okay. Yeah, it was here on your teeth one, that one. When, when, when did you leave your like stability of your day job? 
uh, 1999 I think or 2001 somewhere there. but it feels like it came fast for you um, like it like from 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 open spot to just like it feels like it was fast because you came into my consciousness aggressively you were everywhere you, you know why uh, I think because I was one of the only colored guys in Johannesburg uh, at the time that was doing it. Is it? Yeah, so the other guys was Kurt Gunrat and Stuart Taylor and Riyad Musa. They were all from Cape Town. Uh, and you have a very different point of view yeah, because of that. Because you also yeah. came born in bred Joburg. Yeah. So and yeah. real, real, like real. Yeah. 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 So it was not different. private schooling and yes, yes, yeah. yes. So that was. Uh, uh, you know what? Um, I, I guess that was also uh, counted in my advantage. You're still unique. You still, you still have. Yeah, but undeniably that, like unique. Yes, yes. Point of view and the way you, even the way you present yourself. Yeah, it's it's still a um, it's a strange thing, eh? It's a strange thing, so that's why I don't think guys like me will ever could ever work in. Yeah, you can't go back to a day job. Yeah, I can't go back to a day job. No, it what the interviews won't even work. <laughs> right. They'll go, but right. you Joey Ras, then you can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not there yet. I think I could re I could go back uh, at this point in my career and still. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But you not going back. You, yeah. that's not happening. Yeah, it's not. Tell me, um. You were one of you the only person I know that yeah. met one of my well one of the people I found the most interesting. You uh -huh. met Anthony Bourdain. He yes. came to your house. Yes. And you yeah. said he was a very cool guy. Very cool guy. Yeah. It was very, very nice sad when he yeah. lost that Yeah. He was yeah, he's also you know when when you when you um seen everything me. Mm. It's like oh, I, was I, I like could, that. Yeah, I could feel like he's like, what's next? Oh, and that was what two thousand and what? What I think eight that, nine. How, how old is I came now? Because uh, in that in that seven, episode of Beyond, what they left? I should could I should have turned. Left. I, uh, I but there's two uh, anyway. Yeah, but it's two that. Uh, yeah, it's two. Uh, no, 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 go straight. And how old was I kid? Uh, I think. Akima. It's a good ten years plus. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like maybe ten years ago. Say about two thousand and ten. It was two thousand and ten. How was the how was the conversation when the when the when the when the when the cameras went off? How was it? He, uh, even better, eh? of course. Yeah. But um, he made. He's one of those cats that wouldn't speak or ask you something if the cameras wasn't on. Oh, so he goes to his corner. Like no, we'll be there, but he won't speak. He'll just be like. Uh, no, he's seen too much. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. And then when you, um, when he starts asking questions, uh. and then that's that's when the camera is rolling. But he's, uh, he had a, a, a blazing production team with him. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. CNN. They were blazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now tell me another uh. thing that, and this is something, I've got a weird relationship with this thing. Uh. You, how did, how did, first of all, how did going, how did, how did that come up? How did they get a hold of you? Why you? Now there's so many people. Uh, I don't know. Eh? Oh, because it was during Ramadan. Yeah. Um, because you uh, were, obviously they looked for a popular comedian uh, yeah, in South Africa. In South Africa. Um, and also, uh, and they couldn't have chosen better actually. I guess they don't even uh, know it. Yeah, I guess it was also they wanted to see a side of South Africa that they didn't wouldn't necessarily have seen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh God. It's just the roadblock on roadblock camera. Yeah. Oh, so now we have to go through town. So make a U-turn there. Here's the bicycles. Yeah. Make a, a U-turn. A U turn yeah. A U turn yeah. We go back that way. And then you have to turn left. So um how did um how did go um make the circle bigger come about? 
because that was crazy, bro. Uh, uh, that thing blew up. You know, I, I didn't smile that song for a while. Uh, yeah, I'll why? tell you why. Uh, it was so catchy and so fun. Like, it was it was a fun song, uh, but you know, people like I had white friends. Uh, I that didn't understand. Is this a one way? I don't know. Bro. Yeah, it's a one, it's yeah. a one way. Need you, and then I can't do. No, it's not a one way. There's no block. Must I go deeper or that? No, no, no. You can. Uh, yeah, let's. No, go deeper or that. Yeah. So yeah, how did make the circle big? What was was that the song's name? Yeah, make the circle big. Show them was the song. Show them. How did that come about? That thing was so ridiculously popular, bro. So me and Jr. Mm-hmm. We did a a thing called um. I did this thing called I eliminate the element of surprise. Scrutinize. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, was it a, was it an advert you did? Yeah, it was like, yeah, this this is very dangerous. This place here. Yeah. This road? No, just in general. Yeah, I'm gonna. I feel like I need to take my watch off. Camera's in the window. Let's hope for this. Yeah, yeah. So um, what well, what happened was we did, I did this this campaign scrutinize eliminate the element of surprise scrutinize let's flip yeah. HIV to HIV. Oh, I remember that. Thing. Yeah. So me and and Jr. You was also just starting at the time basically. Mm. We uh did the um, the road shows. Okay. And then in one of for the, that campaign for that campaign yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you know, I think maybe you should turn left here. Uh, if you can, and then for that campaign, uh, and yeah, yeah, no, 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 um, um, I don't think you should stand so close to the thing here. I think you must give yourself some space uh, to move. Yeah, no worry. Because this is not a a, a lecker. I know this place. I had, a, I had a, uh, someone p- bumped into me once. Uh, fender bender. Nah, yeah, not even a fender bender. The 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 guys that's here on the road. Yeah, the, the it's profan, profan. Yeah, the criminal elements here. Don't say it's fucking still stopped here or no, something. No, it's not. Oh, it is. Nah, let's see. Let's see. Are we gonna go this way? Yeah. Yeah, so let's start from a scratch. You went on this thing, and then you and Jr was on this campaign, and then what? So yeah, me and Jr and TJ Frankie and El Vovo Diranga, we used to do the our big Nas also just came out that time. We used to do the road shows to campuses uh, around South Africa, and then and then I think it was in Cape Town. Yeah, JR was um, telling me about how you went to Galaxy, uh, and in Galaxy they were like, make the circle bigger, make the circle yeah. bigger, and he's like, no way, he's gonna do a song for it like that. Yeah, and then he made Double HP. They got together and they were they made a song, but then um, he asked me, Cobbs asked me there, I must just come in the studio and just lay down a skit for him. Okay. And then I, I laid down a, uh, a skit, uh, and then from there, that's where, because they recorded the song already. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so that skit then became part of the song. Yes. Yeah. Make the circle, we show them. Yeah. Show. So, Bra, that thing annoyed the like, I loved the song, uh, but after a while, it became difficult. Like white friends of mine would say it to me in an accent, and then it would make me feel some kind of way. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. people. Love the song, but they didn't know how to react. Yeah, so yeah. Like, I had actually had friends that said to me, "Is it okay if we do that?" Then I was like, "No, really not." But I understand yeah. why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, yeah. Brad, it must have been. Did it become annoying to you? Uh, not really. No, because it made you. It made you. No, it, again, very relevant. Yeah, it, it it wasn't. It it didn't make me. Uh, it wasn't annoying. Yeah. Um, it was. I I I was uh, no, 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 straight. Yeah. I was I was actually proud of what I have done. Uh, oh, yeah. well, I mean, yeah. that would be too. Yeah, it's like, and then also to to put the color people or that specific um, culture side of of uh, of in popular culture, you know, yeah. like yeah, and okay. 
and then so i think i think why you got irritated was it triggered something in you yeah and maybe maybe it was like am i being embarrassed because like when white people come and say make the circle bigger i just uh, felt it like a st stereotype yeah yeah but the thing about it is even if it is a stereotype yeah it's not a stereotype it's a, the truth that's what we do uh, uh it is true. yeah that's what we do let's go go left here and then the next one go go further yeah um um that's what we do and so not this robot the next robot so we we have to own it and be proud of it and and if they if they want to be a certain way it's not like um it's it's like our culture it's like our our thing mm. so if it triggers you then it means like ah, am i i don't know if i must be upset or if i'm a, so most people color people got irritated because in my view and observation is is that they felt a bit embarrassed like oh should we be proud of this oh we so hum and in the meantime it must be like yeah we hum and i'm proud and we all come to our world and that was the yeah, but the, let me play out a scenario for you what uh -huh. happened to me was i would be a professional guy in an office yeah right yeah with a yeah. good job and my colleagues yeah. both respect and yeah. all that yeah and then overnight owens yeah. would people that normally would never speak to me like this yeah, yeah. would come up to me in my office and go show them show them and i'm like bro i'm in my work yeah what is this now so it triggered you because what if that person if if it was also um, you must i guess the energy behind the person saying it yeah that that's one thing the energy yeah. behind a person saying it or maybe um they yeah so their intention will also play a role is the intention to um give you props or is the intention to irritate you because uh, they know that it's it going to get under yeah. your skin or whatever yeah so the intention is also um very important there but i give you a scenario what if like michael jackson he he like people come to michael jackson and his family and, and they go he he everybody's no like he he like yeah. you know you know what i'm saying yeah so it's 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 the, the intention one but um i i i hear what you're saying when you when um you say that uh it was irritating people didn't start not to like the song yeah but more but that also happens when a, a song gets a lot of radio play yeah it's but just, specifically for yeah. for make the circle bigger it was more colored people that yeah. didn't like it yeah and 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 because you know we, we we i think that in, in our psychology we battle to to show the world we don't battle to show the world that side of us that's yeah. always there like we yeah. we're proud of it it's what yeah. we are but we battle to show the world that hey we also professional owns so we also had a finance thing going yeah, you know what yeah. i mean we struggle yeah. and so when we in those spaces and we try to focus on that yeah and abra comes and tries to pull yeah. you this way yeah. with this so it's a trigger it's that thing yeah so the trigger there but again it it doesn't need to trigger you if you go yeah i am proud show them if so if people say you must write here so if people go um show them show them i always used to especially at back then yeah. when people want to try and be funny and go yeah. show them show them then i go uh i'll say the other thing make the circle bigger or i'll say if they say make the circle bigger then and i'll say show, show them. them if they say show them then i'll be like make the circle bigger and then it they already, must have brought you on with that song every everywhere bro yeah. everywhere yeah wherever I, to a point where i'm like hey, guys these other songs eh <laughs> it's fine yeah but there's this guy called tupac <laughs> <laughs> that was one of your big things and then material was obviously a big thing yeah material yeah. was to me yeah. i don't care. my my thing was i love that movie because i related to it man because my father uh, had a shop yeah, it yeah. was very much the same sort of thing uh, 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 and then i realized it's a very universal story yeah, you think yeah. of yourself Yeah, as yeah. the only one but we yeah. all have those like those things yeah but that story i know opening a shop i know closing a shop uh. my father brought me up in a shop uh. it, it's the best thing that's happened to me uh. like the uh. person i am today is because more because of the education uh. i got uh. out of my father's business than the uh. degrees i got uh, yeah yes, yeah yeah what you're saying now you must go straight and now you're doing a second one
Yeah, we just finished. Yeah, go on that side. Because you're gonna turn. Yeah, okay, stay here. Yeah. yeah, stay here. So you're doing a second material? We finished. I know you can't it. speak too much about it. Now we finished shot it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gonna release soon. Soon, soon. Next yeah. year. Next year, yeah. Did the popularity of the first one surprise you? Oh, uh, no. Um, the When I read the script, it was solid. Yeah. And Not this one, all. is it the same feeling? Did you get the um, same feeling? I, the economy has changed. Yeah. The, the crowd has moved on. The audience has moved on in terms of where the first material was. Mm. So the people that liked the first material, like you, for instance, yeah. they got the light, they got married since yeah. then. Yeah. So, yeah. So that is... Um, so obviously, the characters have to mature as well. Yes. So the characters matured a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll wait and see. Um, mm. Funny enough, for me, my, for me personally, uh, I think my best work mm. was Dollars and White Pipes. Really? Yeah. That's that was my best work. And bunny job? Nah, dollars and white pipes, huh? Is it? Mm. Me personally. Yeah. That's Bun why I got to yeah. know you on bunny job. Yeah, yeah, on bunny chow it was like just um yeah, you know, bunny chow is one of those things where that what that surprised me. I didn't think bunny chow would be so huge. It's a cult, it's a yeah. cult. It. Yeah, it's a cult, yeah. So that surprised me. You and Kakiso have worked together a lot. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what I want to say now is that um, people don't know on material that you improv, you and Riyadh improv the most of the first one. Yes. All the lines weren't written. Yeah. You know, the line was there as a framework. Yeah. But, um, yeah, on the, the character, the feel, yeah. the relationship between the two of you felt very authentic, real. Authentic, yeah, authentic, yeah. And like you spoke each other's language and you were always like, yeah, to you know, material. you were that side, brav, so, to support it. Yeah, so material two, that relationship gets challenged. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. So it's gonna like, make you act hard, eh? So so oh, all done now. So so all um all so like, as in everything, um people move on when they become more famous, yeah, they become more they become get more married. Ambitious. Yeah, get they married, they get children. Yeah. Yeah. It's cause, cause now Ria's character also got married and you got children. So When you, was the first one? Is it ten years already? No, 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 no. Um the first one was seven years. Okay. Two thousand and eleven or two thousand and twelve. Sorry I interrupted you there. What did you say? So Ria's character's grown obviously. Yeah, and then also the whole yeah, the characters grown and the whole um where you see the world. Yeah. Yeah. Who writes who wrote material was it Riyadh? It was Craig Fremont and Riyadh, yeah, Riyadh and Craig Fremont. The both of them. Both together, yeah. But the first and the second The one second now. the first one was Roz, Craig and Riyadh. Okay. Uh, it's it was a it uh Riyadh Riyadh um whoever wrote those scripts understands well, understood at that time what would resonate with people. Yeah, it, 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 that it will resonate with people now as well because the yeah. story is universal and it's yeah. timeless. Yeah. Um, the And then in Material 2, we explore because Material is basically was about relationships. Yeah. yeah relationship yes, between absolutely. Your father, relationship between family, your mother, 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 sister. Mother, sister. Yeah. So it was all relationships. Um, where in material two is also relationships, but it's um, different types of relationships. Yeah. Like your your manager, your the business side of things. Ah, uh, yeah. Very interesting. I yeah. can't wait for that. I think I think it's gonna be a big release. Yeah, I, I think, think it's gonna. Uh, be yeah, it should be a. a it should be a bigger hit. It yeah. should be. Whether the movie is gonna be as as great a movie as the first one, yeah. uh, we don't know because the obviously the whole premise is different now. Mm. But yeah, but the first one was a movie about a son trying to make his parents proud yeah. and um, and his parents trying to make do the best for their son. Mm. That was that's. Mm. No matter what scenario it is, it's worldly. Yeah. Whereas in the second one, it's um, there's people that's important uh, and they might not be family. Ah, I and see. And you need to recognize that. Ah, I and see. more often than not, we don't recognize the close people 
um, around you yes. and take them for granted. Yes. Now, that I think, I think just because of the first one's popularity as well, uh, people will they are right by the robot. Inevitably. Uh, give it a chance yeah. and because there's lesson you guys are competent it's yeah. gonna be a good thing yeah it's not like I trust that it's gonna be a good thing yeah. also I like that Riyadh did, did, it took his time yeah he didn't go and let's just bash one out because yeah, yeah, yeah. that happens so often when you got a, got a hit on your hands yeah, go yeah. let's roll the next one out in a year and a half yeah yeah and you could have easily but with a talent the talent pool you guys could have easily rolled out one like that yeah but it would not have been as good it would have relied a lot on your humor. Yeah, and then this one is, is, is where the story was so strong in the first one. I think the stro the story in the second one is a bit stronger. Is it? That's mm. great to hear. Because I didn't watch that movie for the jokes. Yeah, the story in the second one is a bit stronger. And it also touch on political situations. Oh. Like the way um communities are now. Yeah. Especially the Muslim colored community. Yeah in Johannesburg specifically so it, it, it there's a layer of that in the movie as well that's dope man yeah I can't wait to see it so there's a layer of um, basically to you as do we as performers give back to the community uh, we, tap into those things yeah so there's a layer of that where you like there's certain things that's more important than your job or uh, more important than your career uh, uh, and that social responsibility side okay and do we do do we as performers do that okay and yeah and that is also one of the the layers every themes yeah yeah and uh you know are you are you thinking about You've never, you've never really been a guy that's tried to go overseas and, no, I'm and not. to stand up. No. You've never been that guy. No, never. I don't think I'll ever be that guy. Also, what may surprise people is that whenever I ask you what you'd do if you could do anything you wanted to do, <laughs> it's always traveling to <laughs> to some yeah. foreign country yeah. and living on the beach. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> I'll stay in Dhaka. I'll stay in, I don't know, Thailand. St. Bart's. So, would you rather roam the earth than anything else? Yes, I'd rather go uh, uh, Alien Looper. Yeah. Do you watch that? Did you watch that? There's two movies that I really did. The one was where Jason Statham is, I think he's the mechanic. Yes. Where he's got this garage on the sea uh, uh, in the middle of nowhere. Is that you think? Yeah. And, and in, in, in um, the American. George Clooney plays this guy called the, he's an assassin. Okay. Yeah, and then he goes, stays in this small Italian village. Uh, it's, it's, it's romantic. Yeah, like, or uh, a beautiful year where um, Marion yeah. M- Marian Cotillard and, and, and Russell Crowe um, have like a, yes, a, a I've farm. Seen that. I've seen in, that. A, in a France, in a, in, a, in the vineyards of the French uh, reef, um, champagne region there. Growing, growing up the way you grow up, right? Uh, did you ever, because you've seen a lot now, Yeah. could you ever have imagined this life? No, I you've don't got know. a very interesting life. Yeah. I don't know if you know that. Sometimes I think to myself, am I an ordinary guy living an extraordinary life? Or am I an extraordinary guy living an ordinary life? I think a little bit of both. Yeah, I think certain things is extra- extraordinary. Yeah. And then certain decisions is extraordinary. Yeah. So, um, so certain achievements is like extraordinary. So I think it's a bit of both, yeah. But mostly I think that I am an ordinary guy that has been fortunate enough to live an extraordinary life. Yeah, and t- tell me, do you plan a lot of your things out, your goals for the year? No, you don't. No, you've never strike me as the yeah. Thing. No, I don't plan. You nothing. are very much go with the flow. Of- yes, takdir and tawakkul. What? Takdir, as work is great for you, and whatever happens is happens. It's it's already set out for you. Okay, so it's senseless. It's like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna do this. If it's meant for you, it will find you. Even if it's a beneath 
a, a, a mountain of rocks if it's not meant for you it will never find you even if it's between your two lips so tell me that that's i mean i mean, it's a healthy attitude to have if you like for example i plan a lot yeah i'm I, you know yeah i know that guy like you sent me this email for today four weeks ago yes i'm plan yeah. i plan i plan uh, uh. i plan um and and because i plan and i work hard gotcha. at things i tend to be yeah. I tend to be a. Um, you can only be disappointed when it doesn't work out. Where you don't play it, and it happens. What an amazing feeling! Yeah. Do you then, think then. that that helps you not be jealous, or are you still like you still? Do you, do you have you ever like looked at someone else's career and be like, I envy that? Never. It's like it's like that's for him. It's meant for him. Mm. Yeah. We have to embrace that thing that's meant for him. Yeah. Because yeah. all of your friends, your friends, the people you started with. Yeah. I've done crazy things. Yeah. I mean, you've done big things. Yeah. Kahiso Latif has done yeah. amazing yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. All these people. Yeah, we've done. We've done. I need to go just to the toilet quickly. You can wait here. Yeah, I'll come back. Okay. Just, yeah, I just need to go pee. Do whatever you need to do. <laughs> you can come in here. Chairas Dean is a dad, eh? This pool must be ready because the daughter's coming. How much dad things do you do, bruh? Mostly, eh? I only do dad things. Only do dad things. You got a tennis court over there and a liquor pool. What more can you ask for in life? Uh, I like my house. The house is wonderful. How long have you been here? Uh, seven years. Oh, I thought it was longer. So I stayed in an area for like 14 years. Okay. Yeah. But I stayed in this house for seven years. I think my other house was better. Where? Oh no! Don't say where it was. Why? Why do you say that? It was in the same area, but um, it was smaller. <laughs> Did you ever have a weird fan just rock up at your house? Because I know you put your stuff sometimes on social no. media. No, I don't think people know where I stay. Yeah, it's best that way. Yeah, so I do think that you will get. Show them my neighbor's house. Beautiful, bro. You can't see it so lekker, so like. so but it's beautiful. It's a very <laughs> feels like Cape Town a bit here. Yeah. Constantia vibes. Yeah, it feels Constantia vibes. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, let me ask you the last questions. Yeah. The last question I have for you before we say goodbye. Yeah. So you've like we've said you've dealt with loss. Yeah. And I've seen you deal with loss, and then you're funnier. Than you in in those times, yeah. you are funnier. You think so? I think so. And not just me. It's a consensual thing. I've heard other people go. Cow told me, is, "Yo, yeah, oh. Joey, now you must see him. You must see him now." I'm like, "But he's going through things." Yeah, he's like, "Yeah." I think it's a coping mechanism. Ah, I'm putting words in your mouth. Sorry. No, I think it's a. Um. Do you, are you familiar with the term catharsis? Yes. I think it's a cathartic experience. Okay. Yeah. So when you go through loss. And when you go through stuff, you being on stage is a, cath a cathartic experience. Because I wanted to know, because this is my yeah. biggest fear, is that when real yeah. pain hits me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have to go out and feed my kid. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. have to go and do stand-up. Yeah. How are you on stage then? As I said, it's a, it's a cath cathartic experience. So you just go on and you still you work as per normal? Yeah, I just You're think... In the dark here, yeah, let me yeah. lie this side. I think I can you sit there, sir. Okay. I think it's what's in it. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's um. You don't really worry what people think about you anymore, because you look at them and then you go, yeah, you haven't been through what I've been through. Yeah. You don't know what's going on in my life. You don't yeah. know. So they don't know about your turmoil. Yeah. And. And you there just to uh, relieve yourself, like you yeah. know. And then the, you, yeah, the heaviness. You relieve, it. so it's like therapy for you to go on stage yeah. and just get it out. But just you have to drag yourself out of bed. Yeah, no, but sometimes you're unhappy. You're there. Yeah, but it's the the one thing is the one thing is you don't want to deal with people, yeah. but you want to be on stage. 
Yeah. And there's no feedback. And relief. Yeah. And and relief. That relief. That yeah. you want to relieve yourself from that. So um, the one thing is you don't want to get out of bed because you don't want to be um, exposed to people or you don't want to be with people at the time and speak to people and yeah. you don't want that. Yeah. But you want to be on stage and. Yeah. Yeah, do the thing. Do the thing on stage. Yeah. And that thing when you're on stage, doing the thing on stage when you're going through a tough time. Yeah, there's nothing better. Eh? It's crazy because I, I, I haven't really had that yet. Uh, uh, there's nothing better than it. There's nothing. I always go like, how can you be funny when you've just lost someone? And you don't need to be funny. That's my whole point. It's like, it's not you trying to be funny. It's you um, trying to heal, basically. Yeah. And but you've been hilarious. Yeah, uh, well, that's just a bonus. I remember, and I won't be mm. specific, mm. I remember you coming, me and you flew into Durban together. Yeah. And I was like, guys, just be ready because mm. I don't know if Joey's going to be able to do this do yeah. this thing. I'll yeah. go on if I have to again. Yeah. And, like, yeah. and man, did you come through. <laughs> you went on as well. I think you did like 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audience was clap. Yeah, it was just like, yeah. And you like literally did a lot, little bit of did you immerse yourself in work? Because it was work. you were a little bit of a touring comic at the time. You mm. were Durbaning and Cape Town. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to. I wanted to just be on stage, like you know. Yeah. Just to get it, get it out. Yeah. Oh well. Mr. Yeah. Rasdi, thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for taking time. Taking me for the chow on the Sunday. It was a dope chow, it, and we had to cancel last week, but now it was worth yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You have to wanna cancel. play golf? Yeah, we're gonna play golf next soon. week. Week next, next, week, next week, next week. You the planner, bro. You the planner. <laughs> you can phone me in the morning even. Yeah. yeah, there's two times where you phoned me in the morning and I was there. I was ready. So we play golf. People don't know. <laughs> if there's anything, there's these children. Golf, <laughs> comedy. <laughs> I don't even think I don't even know if comedy is that, but I know <laughs> golf is high up. <laughs> yeah. There's priorities in life, and yeah. Joey's taught me a lot. You the bro I played the most golf in my life. Like I'm not, my brother-in-law has helped me, but you guys, he, you he the didn't most. have etiquette, but now he's got I'm much better etiquette. now, much yeah. better. There's anyway, no proper etiquette. That TV that you saw, yeah, yeah, on that in a golf thing. You want everything in a golf thing. You never bought a damn thing. I've never, I never win anything. Okay. Anyway, for more of this kind of content, click like, click subscribe, click the bell icon. See you next time. Bye.